What is up everybody? It is a lovely, lovely late spring afternoon and it is almost summertime, which means time to get into your uh, summer attire. Some of you might be thinking about laying out by the pool and if you're a little bit self-conscious about that uh, winter weight that you put on, it might, you might be thinking about weight loss. Now some of my friends have been taking the Whole30 Challenge. I'm not super familiar with it, but my wife has filled me in on exactly what the Whole30 Challenge is. And it's basically you're eliminating everything from your diet except for meat and vegetables and fruits. Basically it's like an all natural diet. You're not eating any gluten, you're not eating any wheat, you're not eating any bread. You're not definitely not having any sweets. But uh, if any of you are familiar with the Whole30, but haven't tried it, let me know why you haven't tried it, if it's something that you have considered. But with weight loss on the mind, I am actually, if you've been watching the channel and you've been following frequently and you started with me from the beginning, I have actually put on some winter weight this year. Uh, and so, thanks buddy, it's a nice car. And so uh, maybe you've noticed I know it's hard for some people when you see somebody every day, like for myself, when I look at myself in the mirror every day, I don't necessarily see that weight get put on. I don't like to step on the scale all the time either, just because I just, sometimes I don't like what I'm seeing. So it's been a while and I have put on some weight. I won't tell you how much. It's, it's more than a few pounds. So I've actually done some things that I always do and it's, it's Probably not the most healthy thing because I am kind of a yo-yo person. I won't say dieter, but I am up and down with my weight. I fluctuate, you know, 10 to 15 pounds and I really should just stick to something and and try and keep my weight at a, at a consi more consistent level. Um, but for me, when I do put on a little bit of weight, it's really, this is not, and obviously everyone's results are gonna vary with what you do to lose weight. But for me, it's not necessarily calorie counting. It's not necessarily uh, hitting the gym every day for an hour. You know, some people it does take more energy and more effort to lose weight. But for me, when I put that weight on, it's because I've been, I've been lazy, really lazy. And uh, I just need to, uh, so, so what I do is, it's, it's pretty simple. I eliminate pretty much all the sweets from my diet. You know, will I have a granola bar with some chocolate chips in it or something? Sure. But I'll eliminate all the sweets in my diet, like candy and brownies and cookies and cake and all that garbage. Um, and I'll also I'll make sure that I'm at least taking a walk a couple times a day. I try to get up my butt out of my uh, office chair at least twice a day. And I'll do a short workout at night. You know, maybe I'll do some push-ups and some sit-ups and some pull-ups. I got a little pull-up bar that I have my my place. And uh, I, I'll only do that for maybe like 15, 20 minutes a night. And the results are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. If you're somebody that, you know, needs to lose a little bit more weight, you're probably going to have to put in a little bit more time and a little bit more effort. But for a guy like me who just needs to lose, you know, 10 to 20 pounds, and you've got the time, you're like, now you're not trying to get it off super quick, um, cut the sweets. And uh, for me also, soda is a big thing. So cut the soda and uh, drink lots of water. And with any luck and with a little bit of, you know, I would say some G the hereditary uh, help those genes that uh, you know some people are just born to be a little bit heavier and there's not a lot that those people can do about it they 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 get they those people I know obviously need to put in a little bit more work but for me um, I'm able to 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 uh, work that weight off uh, at a pretty quickly so for instance I've been on this uh, off the sweets and off the soda for about about 10 days 
uh, and I've lost about four pounds so I mean for me it's easy I've been lazy in the winter time you know it's hard because the Sun goes down you don't like to go outside when it's dark it's cold and you know I'm wearing pants and, and sweaters and stuff and you can kind of cover all that up but in the summertime you know I like to throw on a my t-shirt and my shorts and all of a sudden oh there's that gut that's been building all winter long and partially through the spring so anyway uh weight loss is, for me is not necessarily something that i can say yeah i'm attacking it really hard right now and i hope to lose this much weight but for me uh what works best is making a lifestyle change and something that's not impossible to uh impossible to keep up because what happens is i i've tried i've tried p90x and i will say this when i did p90x i lost like 45 pounds i was over 200 pounds and uh i lost i got all the way down into the low 160s and uh it was awesome uh but what happens is p90x is a is kind of an ex, it's not an extreme diet but it's a diet that I, I wasn't necessarily going to keep up once I was done with the 90 days. And the workouts are, are brutal. And it was something that once I was done, I was like, I don't want to do these workouts anymore. And it was hard for me to keep up. So, I mean, I, I, I went back up like 10 pounds and I stayed there for, you know, for a, a long period of time until again, you know, you get out of the routine, you get sick, you get injured and it's hard to, to keep that weight off. So anyway, uh, kind of just going on and on about this but uh, weight loss is is easier to handle I think if you don't put yourself on a strict strict I need to lose 50 pounds in or, or I need to lose 30 pounds in the next uh, five months right I think if you make decisions in your life to, that you can, can that are easier to control um, saying that you're going to cut sweets, right? It's easy to just say I'm not going to eat sweets anymore. Or I'm only going to have sweets on a, my birthday or, uh, you know, during office parties or whatever. It's easier to do for me to do that than to say, for 90 days I'm going to do this and I'm, what, whatever happens after that, you know, who cares? So anyway, um, I would definitely give an endorsement and say P90X does work. Uh, for me, it definitely works. Uh, but it's for me. If you wanted to lose weight and you wanted to stay off and you wanted to be at, and you want to be at a weight that you can maintain for uh, you know for years, you've got to make changes that you can sustain for 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 your life, right? For your, for the many years to come. And if you feel like you can sustain uh, you know really intense workouts for the rest of your life, then that's great. I, my sister actually, who's lost over a hundred pounds. She, uh, she does Kaya Fit and, you know, she's been doing this Kaya Fit for, for years and it's something that she can sustain, it's something she has sustained and it's something that she's been really uh, adamant and really, uh, really good about helping other people to lose weight as well. So, you know, in that, in that way, that's a great way to, uh, to lose weight when you can do it with other people and something that you can sustain and you can have a support group for. Uh, because again when you're making life changes if you've got a support group behind you it's something that uh, something that makes makes it a lot easier you've got people around you that are supportive of your decision to lose weight um, let them know that you're trying and they'll be more supportive trust me if you don't tell them that you're trying to lose weight they're gonna try and get you to eat cake they're gonna try try and get you to uh, eat the cookies that they bring in things are always easier to me when you when you've got the support behind you so anyway guys uh, and gals that's all I got for you today if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up down there which is the like button and if you're so inclined hit the subscribe button which I'll pop up right over here I'll also throw up some links over here in this direction and you can go straight to one of my other videos guys if you're riding be safe and if you're not riding get ready this is that one guy and I'm out <laughs>